Over the past few months, I spent hours and hours, if not days, researching and uh, learning about AI sales agents. So much so that I made even 29 videos all about AI agents. So I thought I would compile all of the information into one place and compare the four of the most popular AI sales agents so you wouldn't have to go through the same nightmare spending hours uh, doing research, testing, and trying to find information that's pretty hidden about all of these AI agents. So without further ado, let's compare Agent Frank with Alice from 11X, Artisan, Ava, and AISDR itself. So you could actually decide which one is the right fit for you. We'll start off with the most important thing, which is the output and active contacts. We'll go to the, we'll wor work our way through the features to the pricing and all of that good stuff. Now, output contacts, what does this mean? This means how many actually, how, how much output you're actually getting, right? This is on based on the plans, the smallest plans, of course course you can go higher but with agent frank you can expect to have 1000 co active contacts at any given time and process around two and a half thousand contacts per month AISDR can send about 1000 emails and for 11x or artisan workload is not mentioned right now let's let's talk about the campaign setup so for most of these uh, agents it's automatic meaning you don't have to do anything you add your information and everything will be made for you but for AISDR the campaign setup will be manual. Now, uh, talking about that, you'll also have your ICP setup. For Artisan and Agent Frank, the ICP is automatic or it can be manual, meaning that you can use the ICP created by Agent Frank after you give it information or you can adjust it and change the ICP yourself, your ideal customer's profile. But for 11X and AISDR, you'll have to do it all manually, whether you like it or not. Now, of course, for ICP and campaign setup, you'll need your product and uh, company information so for for most of these ai agents 11x ai sdr and agent frank you need to upload all of this yourself add your company information you know uh populate your knowledge base with stuff product information company information but with ava you can just chat to it and it will learn based on your responses it's kind of still manual because you need to talk to it but uh, that's how it goes with ava after you set up all of this information after the agent knows your icp lead scraping will start all of these ai sales agents can actually go ahead and source leads for you so so both artisan 11x uh, and ai SDR and agent frank all four of them them have an option to go ahead and find leads for you or you can just go ahead and upload a lead list yourself meaning if you have, have scraped some leads you have a high quality lead list right you can just upload it and the agent will take care of it reach out to them personalize their emails and all of that now you may be wondering where does it scrape those leads from well all of these agents have various leads lead providers for example artisan has a 400 million lead database ai sdr has 700 million and similarly with agent frank it has a bunch of millions of leads in a list from various different providers right now you uh, all of these ai agents uh, have email validation built in and that's good because it would be sad and silly if they didn't because it's one of the most important things in cold email if you're sending out emails to unvalidated mailboxes you have a risk of destroying your mailbox reputation right reaching out to spam traps and active mailboxes all of that good stuff next we have stored lead quantity meaning how many leads can you actually store in the app itself for ai sdr and agent frank it's unlimited but it's not really known for artisan or 11x so perhaps you might need to juggle some leads upload a thousand once they're finished delete them upload more but it's not known you also have thing called like seats this means how many users can actually access your workspace so this is important for bigger teams if you want to manage one account with a couple of people share it now we have unlimited seats for agent frank or aisdr but for artisan or 11x it's not known you also have a thing called prime box prime box is a place where all of your email conversations replies can be seen meaning that you don't need to juggle between multiple mailboxes to see where you got the reply where you didn't where you have to reply no you can have a huge overview of all all your mailboxes in one place agent frank of course has it just like salesforce uh, 11x does have it uh, artisan has it but ai sdr does not have it meaning you will need to check your mailboxes in the 
individually to see if you got any replies or reply yourself. Next, we have a lead CRM, meaning a this is a place where you can see all of your leads, information about your leads, the leads that you contacted, that uh, the leads that will be contacted, information about them. All AI sales agent mentioned here have a lead CRM. Uh, let's talk about mailboxes. Now for Artisan or 11X, it's not uh, known how, how many mailboxes can you connect, but it's unlimited for both uh, Agent Frank and AI SDR, meaning that you can connect as many mailboxes as you need based on the quota. For example, if you're reaching out to 1000 prospects per month, you need around uh, 30 mail um, emails per mailbox per day. So that's 33 uh, mailboxes or so, right? No, I'm talking nonsense. Ignore my math, right? 10 days, 300 emails their mailbox. Uh, ignore my math. Now let's talk about autopilot mode. Autopilot is meaning that the AI agent will go ahead and uh, send emails by itself without your interference. Now uh, that's what these agents, AI sales agents are about. So all of them have an autopilot on. You can turn them on and off on Artisan or 11X. Uh, but only Agent Frank has a co-pilot mode, meaning that you don't have to let your AI sales agent go rogue. What you can do is actually review each message before before it's being sent, just to make sure it aligns with your brand voice, it aligns with what you want to say, it's a great message. Basically, you can review to have like a step of safety or something, right? Meaning that uh, you can overlook what Agent uh, Frank is doing, but which is not the case with other agents. But of course, Ag Agent Frank also has autopilot mode, meaning it can go all, uh, do everything by itself without your interference. Uh, next thing I want to talk about is Mailbox Health. It's monitored on Artisan and it's handled for you on Agent frank but not on other agents meaning that the mailbox health will be taken care of and uh, you will not destroy your mailbox reputation your domain reputation or your whole infrastructure because it's uh, all taken care of and uh, basically maintained right so the warm-up will be done to make sure that mailbox health is amazing and all of that good stuff now we also have a super important feature auto replies now uh, you see what will happen is after you start doing outreach you'll get a lot of questions a lot of objections and for artisan and 11x you'll have to go and have the, handle them all yourself, which is not the case with AISDR or Agent Frank, because Agent Frank will talk to the prospect till it books a sales call, meaning that it will answer the questions, handle objections, share the booking link, and or go ahead and book the call itself uh, without needing you to, inter to interfere. But for 11X or Artisan, whenever you get a reply, you'll have to go ahead and actually reply yourself. So it's uh, not that great. All of these agents perform email outreach, which is pr pretty self-explanatory. That's what they're built. Uh, only 11x has uh, LinkedIn integration, meaning it can also send connection requests and emails. Other op uh, other agents do not have it, but for uh, Agent Frank, that's a upcoming feature, right? None of them do call calling, not yet. All of them do email personalization, meaning that uh, the emails will be personalized to each prospect. For example, Agent Frank does it on a couple of points. It personalizes emails based on your product to make sure it's relevant to the prospect, as well as information about your prospect from their LinkedIn, their website and all of that good stuff. And now we're coming to the most important, most interesting part. We know all of this information. We know how they go against each other, what kind of features they have, what kind of features do they not have. We see how many uh, emails they can process, how many contacts can it reach out to. What is the pricing? Well, let's start off with Artisan. Well, it's custom pricing. Of course, they don't list it. So you can expect to pay whatever you use, right? For uh, 11X, it's $1 per lead, so about one thousand dollars per thousand leads so if you're if you were reaching out to two and a half thousand prospects per month like agent frank you would be paying around two and a half thousand dollars per month ai sdr costs 750 dollars per month for 1000 emails sent and agent frank only costs 499 dollars for all of this plus infrastructure which is automated setup right so this is what you can expect for for all of these platforms of course if you can if you want to send more emails uh, and reach out to more prospects you're always welcome to do so but we are here talking about these plans uh, now uh, these agents do not have uh, integrations apart from artisan I'm pretty sure agent Frank does have slack or Salesforce integration I'm not sure but I'm pretty sure it does I just don't want to lie to you but that's that you also have unlimited warm-up for uh, AI SDR and agent Frank Frank multi-language sequences coming up, uh, which is the case in Artisan or 
text. So this was information. I hope it was useful to you and saving you a lot of time to actually, uh, so you wouldn't have to go research and endure this nightmare. Now, if you would like to watch a video where I go in depth about Agent Frank, I think you should look here. And if you would like to see this whole playlist of 29 videos, which will be 30 videos now, I suggest you go here. Sam out.